Hello, welcome to the Ladder Logic Programming Problem Number Two. So, Problem Number Two, we need to draw a PLC ladder logic diagram to get the reciprocating motion of a punching machine using following sequential operations. One of the two motors we need, uh, we have got two motors. One uh, which is uh, operates when power is supplied. So motor number one operates when power is supplied. Motor drives the punch to one side, maybe downward side. Okay. When it completes the required movement in one direction, a limit switch detects the position of the punch. First motor is get deactivated. That is switched off. Then the second motor at the same time the second motor starts and moves to the moves the punch to the opposite direction. So first it will be in downward direction. Now it is in upward direction. When it completes a required movement in opposite direction, a second a limit switch detects the position of the punch. Second motor is get deactivated, and the first motor at the same instant the first motor is started again and the process continues as to get a continuous reciprocating motion to and from motion also draw the input and output diagrams so this is our problem first we needed to visualize the problem by drawing simple diagram of the punch and which is having two motors and two limit switches so let's this will be our punch and this punch is actually reciprocating in this direction downward direction and in upward direction and we have got two motors that is motor number one this is m1 and that is for the downward direction and another motor is connected that is m2 and that is for the upward direction of the punch then there is a limit switch at the top that is that which senses uh, the top position of this punch so that is uh, named as ls2 limit switch 2 limit switch 2 senses the upward position of the punch and this dotted line represents the downward position downward movement of the punch it will be up to this one so here also there is a limit switch for sensing the downward direction of this punch and that is ls1 so here we have got two motors m1 and m2 then two limit switches uh, that is ls1 and ls2 that is the setup so the problem statement is like that whenever we are switching on the power so first uh, step is to switching on the power so whenever the power is switched on the m1 should work so the m1 will be activated it will be powered and it will start rotating and that will move the punch downwards so after when it reaches the downward extreme position it triggers the ls1 that is limit switch one once the ls1 is triggered or switched on m1 is switched off and m2 is switched on now the punch is moving upwards in this direction then when it moves at the top side again the next limit switch that is ls2 is energized or it is switched on then it will switch off m2 and switch on m1 now this one continues so we will have a continuous reciprocating motion so this has to be uh, we have to realize this circuit in plc ladder program so in constructing ladder program we need to draw the two vertical lines which is representing l1 and l2 then uh, we have to establish the first circuit for the motor M1. So that is the first one. One switch is given. So that is LS2. Because in the previous picture, 
we know that whenever the ls2 is switched on the motor m1 is switched on so that's why we are instruct starting the circuit with ls2 and there is no separate switch is required for power button because power whenever the power is switched on uh, the circuit will work automatically uh, then we will have a normally closed switch uh, which is ls1 so this has to be closed for working of motor 1 that is should be ls1 and they should be connected to we will have a relay r1 okay then in order to make it whenever uh, at the same instant when the plunger uh, here it is the ls2 so at the same instance when the plunger moves downwards again this uh, ls2 will become switched off so after even after switching of the ls2 we need to uh, have the downward movement from the m1 motor should be working so we need a latching circuit over here that is the r1 the switch from the relay r1 and that will be latched to ls2 so when uh, even though the ls2 is switched off the power will be conducting in this direction so r1 will be in active condition so from this r1 again we will take this r1 another switch from r1 and that will be connected to motor point m okay and the next one uh, so now it is working so when this is reaching at the downward position just explain in the last uh, slide this one is ls1 so whenever the ls1 it reaches ls1 we need to switch off m1 that is r1 has to be switched off and we have to switch on the uh, r2 and through that r2 we have to switch on the m2 motor 2 so that switch is ls1 this ls1 closing up ls1 is actually switching on the motor 2 and again that is connected with the normally closed circuit of ls2 assuming that uh, both ls1 and ls2 have got a normally open circuit and normally closed switch not circuit normally open the switch and a normally closed switch here uh, this is a normally opened switch for ls2 here it is a normally closed switch of the ls2 similarly ls1 has got a open circuit open switch contact and a normally closed contact then now it is connected to r2 so this r2 is energized so after r2 is energized means motor m2 will start that will actually move upward the plunger will move upward started to move upward and uh, this ls1 will get switched off uh, even after switching of the ls2 we need to uh, power the motor so we need a latching here also so that is we will latch it with r2 and uh, again uh, from R2 another switch we are taking that is R2 then that is connected to M2 so this is our circuit now we can explain the working like this when uh, the plunger is at the top this LS2 will be in open condition LS2 will be in closed condition when it is at the top it will be in closed condition and uh, then the power will be flow so r1 will be energized so the r1 energized means that is actually this is the r1 so r1 is connected to m1 the m1 motor starts that means the plunger moves downwards once the plunger moves downwards this will again open okay then because of this r1 latching the power will be flowing like this so the r1 will be in activated stage so the motor will continue to work when the plunger moves uh, downwards it will reach the downward extreme position this ls2 ls1 will be 
energized. So LS2, LS1 energized means this will be get open. This normally closed switch will open. It will open. That means this will break the circuit. So R1 will be de-energized. That means the motor M will stop. At the same time, uh, this LS2 is uh, sorry, LS2 uh, is actually now uh, off condition. So off condition means this is again open. Then LS1 is open now uh, uh, activated. So this will become open. Okay, then now the power started to flow to R2. So once R2 is triggered, it will uh, conduct the electricity in this direction. So uh, this R2 is connected to motor 2 so the motor 2 is get switched on now the motor 2 uh, start to move the plunger upwards once the plunger started to move upwards the ls1 will again open but because of r2 it will continue to move up to what it will reach ls2 once the ls2 is reached it is energized that means this normally closed switch will become normally open now this will be become open so again it will be switched off the r2 at the same time ls2 is switched on that means again this will start contacting and again it will energize r1 and it will again switch on m1 so the reciprocating motion continues now to solve the last part of this problem that is the draw input and output diagrams so this one is the uh, input diagram so input diagram again we have to draw one single line again we have to so show what are the switches we are using in input side so here only we are using only two switches that is ls1 and ls2 two are the limit switches so that symbol we are shown over here so limit switch 1 and limited switch, switch 2 is connected to the input ports of the uh, plc so that is the input diagram here uh, at the same time here this is output diagram here in the output only two outputs we are taking that is m1 motor 1 connection and motor 2 connection and that is taken from the outputs uh, ports of the PLC so only two connections are there in one and M2. So that is also shown over here so this is uh, the input and output diagrams of the program what we have written now the solution for the problem is completed thank you for watching